Jordan is one of the most water-scarce countries in the world. The imbalance between water needs and water availability is exacerbated by the inefficient and uncontrolled use of resources. Jordan is also severely affected by the impacts of climate change. Around two-thirds of the population are connected to a sewer and wastewater treatment system. The aim is to reach 80% in the next few years. In the traditional wastewater management, a wastewater collection system transports liquid waste to a central treatment plant. But this transport is costly. Large-scale centralized systems usually require high operation and maintenance costs, as well as specialized labor. For that reason, they are rarely feasible for remote locations. In contrast, one main potential of decentralized wastewater management is to serve areas that cannot be connected cost-efficiently to central wastewater treatment plants by bringing the treatment closer to the point of wastewater generation, thus shortening transport distances. We should reach our target, which is 80% by 2025 of people should be connected to the sewage system. If we don't use the decentralized treatment plants, it's difficult to reach this point. In the same time, if we want to protect our groundwater, especially the limited one, we should go in this direction. Another plus point of the decentralized approach, apart from increased coverage and groundwater protection, is that the treated wastewater can be reused close to the point of its generation. بالنسبة للمياه المعالجة هاي مياه يعني صراحة مصدر يعني حيوي ومصدر يعني لازم نستغل كل قطرة منه أول شيء هي مياه معالجة ومياه غنية يعني تغنيك عن الأسمدة وبتغنيك عن الأشياء كثيرة فهي كمياه يعني الحمد لله كويسة وبنستفيد منها زي ما أنت شايفين يعني البرسي ما يحتاج لأي شيء بس هو المياه an in-depth comparison between centralized and decentralized solutions is required to find the most feasible and sustainable approach for each case. Jordan has about 700 localities with a population of less than 5,000 persons. All these are potential areas where decentralized solutions could be applied. The GIZ project Decentralized Wastewater Management for Adaption to Climate Change in Jordan pilots decentralized wastewater treatment and reuse for demonstration purpose. The project also develops tools for replication and concepts for creating an enabling environment next to developing capacities to enable the sector to scale up. In Jordan, the project identified several locations where decentralized wastewater management seems to be the most feasible sanitation approach. One of these is located at the edge of the Dana Biosphere Reserve, 8 kilometers from the next paved road, the Fainan Eco Lodge. Fainan Eco Lodge is a very unique place. It gives back to the community, helps the conservation of Dana Biosphere Reserve where we are located, and really is run with a minimal impact on the environment. Uh, all the energy is generated from the sun. We recycle most of our waste and the water waste is uh, reused. And because of that, Finan has won numerous international awards, being selected by National Geographic as one of the best ecologists in the world twice. Adequate wastewater disposal had been a challenge, resulting in environmental pollution. Construction started in July 2018. It took nine months to build a nature-based wastewater treatment plant install a reuse system and implement protection measures against flooding from the surrounding mountains and the adjacent wadi. The wastewater is treated in several modules. The effluent is reused on site for the irrigation of native plants to improve the microclimate around the lodge. Easy to operate treatment modules are applied. This primary treatment module is connected to the lodge's toilets and kitchen sinks. In addition, organic kitchen waste is fed into the digester. Inside the reactor, 
anaerobic bacteria convert organic matter into biogas. In this secondary treatment step, the effluent of the biogas digester is treated together with grey water that is generated in the lodge. The module consists of a series of five upflow chambers in which microorganisms decompose the contained pollutants. The effluent of the reactor accumulates in a chamber from where it is pumped to the subsequent float valve. The pump is powered by a solar system. Once the water level inside the chamber reaches a certain level, the float valve automatically discharges a defined quantity of water into the subsequent constructed wetland. With this intermittent loading, the following treatment module reaches its full efficiency. This tertiary treatment further removes organic contamination as well as nutrients and pathogens through natural microbial processes. It creates aerobic conditions and ensures that the effluent is odorless. A solar-driven pump conveys the effluent of the wetland to a storage tank that is located on a hill close to the lodge. Treated wastewater flows from the tank by gravity back to the anaerobic baffled reactor for further nitrogen removal. The remaining water flows into the reuse system. The treated water is distributed by gravity through a distribution network to 70 native trees that were planted as part of the project. To ensure the sustainability of the pilot activities, employees receive on-site training and coaching to operate the system. In addition to that, an operation and maintenance manual was developed in English and Arabic. The treatment plant at Finan is great because finally now we're preventing our wastewater from going into the groundwater by treating it and the end result is going to be clean water that we're using to irrigate native trees around the lodge. And this irrigation is allowing us to create a microclimate around the lodge to cool the weather, which we need to do in the summer. So that, in addition to the fact that our wastewater is no longer going into the groundwater environmentally is fantastic and is adding to all the credentials of Finan of minimizing its carbon footprint that we now have negative. And the other great aspect of the system is now we are generating biogas from the system that we are using in our kitchen, reducing the use of propane gas that we were using in the past. This holistic demonstration project shows that decentralized wastewater management is even applicable under harsh conditions, such as the remote location in the biosphere reserve. The applied treatment and reuse approach has the potential for scaling up, especially in remote villages. Another demonstration project is located in the outskirts of Amman, where GIZ built a decentralized wastewater treatment plant and reuse system for the Public Security Directorate. It's a success story, which shows that the approach also works in a semi-urban context. Also in the decentralized approach, technology is to be selected based on the existing ground conditions. Different from Fenan, this treatment plant is a high-tech system. It requires less area, but more energy and maintenance. كنا ننضع هذه الخزانات مرتين إلى ثلاث مرات أسبوعيا ننقلها ونستخدم مية فريش مية نقية لري المزروعات هذا الاستخدام استخدام المياه النقية كان تكلفنا مبلغ وقدره ما يقارب يعني خمسين ألف دينار أردني بشكل سنوي وكذلك الأمر بتحكي عن نضح الكميات المياه الصرف الصحي لخارج المدرية برضو كان كان لفنا كمية كبيرة من من البلاغ المالية يعني بتحكي عن مئة ألف دينار سنويا. Despite the obvious demand for decentralized wastewater treatment in Jordan, its large-scale dissemination as a contemplation of centralized systems remains a challenge. In order to scale up on a countrywide level, developing a suitable environment is essential. We are looking for this decentralized wastewater as a future in Jordan, as I said, to have additional water resources and to protect our water resources. Decentralized wastewater management is not a question of technology, but the management approach itself. 
For any location where wastewater treatment is required, centralized and decentralized solutions should be evaluated and the most feasible one selected, from a technical, financial, social and environmental point of view. There is no either-or. Decentralized and centralized wastewater management must complement each other in order to achieve the goal of universal sanitation coverage.